in this lesson I want to explain an interesting deformer called surface. The surface used to project object on the surface of other object. For example, for better understanding the settings of the deformer, I use this object, bring it to project it on that surface. Of course, the amount of the meshes of the target and the the target and the primary object is very important so we first have to re increase its segment of the object the higher number that you want graph shading and of course change the smallest size of that and i want to project that pyramid on landscape okay everything is right now holding shift and click on a surface to assign the surface to the primit. As you can see two things happen, the axis will be uh, stick to the position of the primit object. And the second thing happened that the surface is child of the, become, become a child of, child of the primit. I'm going to its settings and now we have to change the type of the, I will explain the projection in the class simulation it's better for that situation and we are mapping UVs mean this direct two direction of the object okay it's the sitting will be <clears throat> appear for projecting uh, object to the, another object you have to using mapping UV you have to change the uh, position of UV when your model rotating I will explain now and here the second way you have to the second step is you have to <clears throat> assign the surface that you want to project on it in this situation this is landscape now as you can see the primate drop down on the surface of the landscape okay we check the settings as you can see oh a lot of other object is below that so the first thing that you have to mention is you can change the offset okay oh, i think that's nice the offset the object from the other object okay another thing is the scale of it you can change the scale make it a little number here for scaling the object it's too much you can scale the object in any direction that you want and i think this scale is okay you can scale the object in this direction in this direction or of course the z direction it's important the z direction because i don't want to up my object be flat okay this number is okay for that number okay or maybe little that's good and as you can see this is the apex of the pyramid and when you change the strings you can see our object will be rotate and here uh, for you can changing the strings as you can see our model uh, rotating because you have to change mapping v and u and when you change it it will be corrected and as you can see the model does not rotate and disturb and it's directly going to the surface of the objects so you can changing u and v direction for correct that issues the another interesting thing that is with a u and v you can move your object and surface that's interesting you can do a lots of interesting things with that okay as you can see okay Another important thing is plane here. Reduce the scale. Uh, as you can see, the plane is X and Z. <clears throat> the X and Z is here. It means it does not the projection plane. It means from this button object will be project on the surface. If you want to object project with this um, segment, with this side, you have to change it to the y z this is y z 
and the object will be rotate to the side and snap to the object with its sides. As you can see, we are locking the dead primate at the side. Or you can change it plan any direction that you want here. So it does it does it does not mean you change the projection plane, it means you change the you specify the object in which side will be put drop down on project on the surface. Okay, I want to explain projection with another example. I insert a plane and I want to make it class. Okay. Select that, increase its segment, make it editable. <clears throat> Going to the point mode, and I want to select some pointed for belting. I explain you with the life selection and holding shift, select some points. That's nice. Going to model. And I want to make this plane like a class. It's simple. I've explained all of them in tags. Going right click to simulation tag, right click on object, and the class simulation. And simply it's make to class. And I want to uh, build those points to the area that the object does not fall, fall down. Right click again, simulation tag, build class built and drag the your plane on the built on and set i will explain all of them in, a, in the next lessons but as you can see those points will be act as a built of that class everything is done you have to just play it and our class simulation will be operational and I change and I increase the number of frame here to uh, we have more room to play the animation. And I want to project a logo TC on that surface that move with that class. It's very interesting. Select our TC logo, go over that. Of course, you have to rotate to align the direction of the target object that is close. Okay. And I want to project TC on this surface. So I have to assign the surface deformer to the uh, my extrude TC. Holding shift and click. Because I want to <coughs> transform the axis of the uh, surface to the axis of the TC. And make it, edit it, make it hierarchy. But as I said before, it is unconfusing. The better way is going and click and drag and making the child of the uh, null and in this way the surface assigned to this uh, extrude and in surface we have the projection in type in a projection and we have to assign the surface that wants your tc text stick on that or project on that so in this mode is that plane simply click and drag the surface on this plane or use that I dropper or you can clear or show the manager and the important part is execute the software uh, execute the comment is initialize it and everything is done and just you play an interesting thing will be happen here my TC logo will be a stick on that if you want to more quality you have to increase your um, segment of your TC here okay this is surface projection and you can change a strings but for changing those effect please go back click go to a start and after that you can tick the proportional it means uh, for example if we play the simulation in some time uh, our class will be a stretch and the, this, the that text will be a stretch with that it make the stretch with proportional for example if you stretch that object its thickness will be uh, make it thinner I mean when you stretch, uh, when you stretch something its thickness will be <laughs> uh, 
be a, a smaller. And it is more realistic you take the proportional. So that, as you can see, okay, that's nice. Okay, this is surface deformer and you can use a lot with that. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.